Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for January 15th through January 21st. We're going to start out with a general reading and then we're going to go on to a love reading. Keep in mind that this may not resonate with you. But here I am shuffling the Ask Angels deck. So at this point I want you to ask a question. Okay, ask a question and we'll see what this what the answer is. Okay, how to get your answer, if it's a yes or no, or the time frame. I mean these cards can give you so much. So just ask a question and we will reveal the card that I choose at the end. Hmm. I think it's going to be this one. Make sure there's only one. I knew there wasn't. Interesting. We're going to go with this one. And I am going to try to set it right here. So yeah, you can ask your question, change it, whatever. At the end, we will reveal the answer. I want to thank you for your patience. This is for the sign of Libra. Oh, interesting. This is we're going to start out with a general reading and then we're going to go do a love reading. So there's something going on here, and you know that there is. It's like there's something that's hidden. There's some kind of uh, illusion, all right? And it's something that you know about. Maybe a secret has come out, and now your eyes are wide open, okay? It feels like, yeah, I think some kind of truth has come out, and you can no longer ignore it. I can't ignore the truth anymore. Perhaps there's been some kind of separation. There's been... Uh, a split and you've come to the conclusion that yeah it's time for me to acknowledge this it's time for me to acknowledge the truth you may have been spying or that somebody may have been spying on you okay there is a, an energy of observation here where somebody has been trying to observe from far away whether that's you or the person you're dealing with and you've come to the realization that there's no forward movement no, this is not moving forward. It's been stalled for a while now, and it's not, there's, nothing is changing, okay? There's, like, somebody's been ignoring something, okay? They have been ignoring the truth, and now it's time to accept the truth, all right? And it brings you happiness once you do that. So I think that happiness is coming, but you have to really stop procrastinating you need to really um own up to something all right this there's been you've been tested you absolutely have been tested changes on the horizon and it comes from you okay you have to take action instead of procrastinating and that's what you've been doing you've been waiting for something to come for a cycle to end in a different with a different outcome and the fact of the matter is is the outcome is not turning out to be the outcome that you desired all right um it's like you're finally receiving the clarity that you needed okay there's it's been a lot there's been a lot of tension going on and now you can't you can't ignore it anymore all right this could have to do with a father could have to do with a boss could be somebody who hasn't been seeing your worth you know and it comes to a point what could be with it could be a partner as well it feels like somebody has not um
is not is not giving you any reason to move forward in this situation it's like if we are if we can, if there's no forward movement then there's no sense in me staying here anymore okay that's what i see there's there's just been a lot of conflicts a lot of tension and now you've come to the realization that you need to make another choice all right so this has to do with, it could be, you know, you could be dealing with somebody at work or in your life that is very vindictive, okay? There's a vindictive energy here, and you can't, there's no forward movement. So now you've come to the realization that you have to cut this out. You have to, you have to make a change. You need to stop playing this game. I'm not going to, if I'm not being valued, then I can't play this game anymore, you know? And that's what brings about the happiness, all right, you're looking for happiness, and so you need to stop procrastinating. All right, it's time to accept the truth in this situation. Somebody is being manipulative and controlling, and they're not caring about your needs. Now we're going to move on to the love portion. Your eyes, it's like wide awake. I'm wide awake. I see exactly what's going on. If you guys, if you don't like me, then, you know, I see that. I see that, you, that you're not liking me. Something like that. And I feel it's because of your honesty. I think that you're dealing with somebody who doesn't like your brutal honesty. They don't. You know, they're like, oh, man, I can't deal with this. I'd rather just live in my illusion, and this person won't let me, you know. I think that's what it is. They, they, You're being super honest with somebody, even if it hurts, and they can't take it, so they're cutting you down. You know, they're like, okay, if you don't, if you're going to be that way, then we're going to, we're, I'm going to dominate you, and I'm going to do it in any way possible. Let's move on to the love portion. All right. So you may be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, and it feels like it's a time for you to get creative. It's a time for you to shine. It's a time for you to show your beauty and to have gentle compassion for yourself. You know, right now it feels like you've put in a lot of work into something that's going nowhere. Okay? You have. You have. And now it's time to realize that it's time to leave that situation behind. Do I think new love is coming in? No, I do not. I feel like you guys are stuck in a situation right now where you have to love yourselves first okay you have to love yourselves first let me just make sure this is zoomed in because i'm not sure great it's like i can't um i can't stay someplace or i can't get into another relationship until until i'm ready and i feel like you're not ready i feel like it's it's a time of working on you it's a time of Relighting your flame, your inner flame. It's a time of confidence, self-confidence, self-worth, self-acceptance, and self-esteem. All right, and you're building that up right now. You're focusing on you. I think it's a time of focusing on yourself right now. Okay, it's a time of rebirth, perhaps, for somebody who's watching this. You know, I don't see new love is coming in because it's time for you to bring back your your beauty, your inner beauty, your outer beauty, whatever the case is. It's a time for you to create the reality that you desire and that is involves leaving the past behind fully. And I don't feel like you many of you have done that yet. Okay? You you're not um completely open to a new relationship because you haven't healed from the last one yet. Um, this Three of Cups tells me that it's time for you to get out there and have some fun. It's time for you to mingle. It's time for you to um, receive, okay? It is, but you aren't letting it happen because you're not, <coughs> excuse me, you haven't completely left an emotional situation. You could have been involved in a third-party situation and you haven't completely healed from it yet. I just feel like you have more work to do 
before new love can come in. All right, that's what I see. It's like I, you still need to bring back your glow to raise your vibration up because it feels like somebody has brought your vibration way down and you haven't completely left the situation, but you're close. You're making progress. Okay, you're definitely making progress. Um, I think that you're very determined to move forward and I think that you are bringing back your confidence and your passion for life and that every day your vibration is raising and it's noticeable, okay? I think that you are starting to glow more and more and more every day, every single day. With the Empress card here, it is definitely... A period of creating you I am creating the new me and that's what's going on this week it's like you are in a period of renewal of really really um, lighting that flame within you really really I mean making it shine let's see what we can get for romance here It's like you guys are taking the lead in your own life, your own future. You know, you're starting over and you're doing it beautifully, by the way. Your beauty is shining, so keep doing what you're doing. Interesting. A past life relationship, you have known each other before, and perhaps that's why it's so hard. Okay? Perhaps that's why it's so hard to let go of whatever this is. It feels like you need to. Okay? You need to. You're very disappointed. You're disappointed that something didn't turn out because the connection was so strong. But the fact of the matter is, is there's cycles. Okay? There's cycles in life. Okay? There is. With the moon here. There's a reason for everything. Some people come into your life to teach you something and then they leave. And that's, you know, it's a hard, hard reality. Okay? Um, interesting. So, yeah. Um, the next card is children. Your love life is being affected by children. In this case, you know, it's, it's very true. Perhaps the person that you're dealing with has children or you have children or they want children. or they, You know, it can go so many ways. Either way, right now, and maybe that's your own inner child that needs work. Okay, your love life is being affected by children in however it, it uh, resonates with you. I feel like for some of you, it's your own inner child that needs he needs healing, and the time is now. And right now, you're working on that. You're working on rebirth. You're working on an inner renew renewal. Okay, it is a time of renewal, and that's what it is. It's like you are starting over on a new cycle, a new path, a new journey, and you're about to blossom, okay? So keep doing what you're doing. You are making progress. Do I think new love is coming in? No, I think it's time for you to love yourself, nurture yourself, um, and go through this renewal with um, beautiful compassion for yourself. And I think that your beauty, your inner beauty, and your outer beauty is absolutely um, noticeable, okay? Everybody's noticing it. Everybody's noticing what you're going through, and they're liking it. So keep doing what you're doing, all right? Um, let's get to your question. You guys ready? Remember that question we talked about? All right, you ready? You ready? I had to, the battery died, and the battery never dies. So you can take that as some kind of omen. I don't know. It feels, and that's what I see too. It's like you guys, something has ended. It's come to an end, and you guys uh, have procrastinated with letting it end. And now you've come to the point where you have to start over, just like I did. I had to put a new battery in. I had to start over to finish your reading. And that's exactly what's going on in your life. It's time. It's time to start over. Okay, back to your question. You ready? A 
Ooh, opportunity. Opportunity. Interesting. I'm going to read that one to you because it can mean so many things. It means that you have the perfect opportunity for, to, for renewal, I think. But Positive growth and expansion is on the horizon for you. I knew it. This opportunity may bring with it may bring with it inspiration and insight, or it could be the chance you've been waiting for to take action on ideas you already have. Whatever your desires, your angels are about to open a door of possibilities for you. Step right through it. Interesting. So hopefully that answered your question. I really see that this is a week of working on you, Libra. I'm bringing a back of my beauty. I'm bringing a back my inner grace. I'm bringing a back my love for myself. That's what I see. Talk to you later.